Hello. Um, this is going to be an unconventional tutorial on how to paint this little bunny painting. So, um, I like to paint. I have no training. No, I didn't even take art in high school, okay, because it wasn't cool then. Okay, I took music, which sucked. I thought I was going to learn how to play banjo. I did not. So, I, I've always been creative and I always like to, like, make little paintings or whatever, just do... I didn't really know that I had. I knew I was artistic, but I did not know. I feel like I'm getting better with age, okay? So I saw this little bunny on an Instagram cookie, okay? And I was like, that is the cutest little bunny, and I don't fake. So I was like, I wonder if I could sketch that. So I was just sitting at my chair, my lovely recliner that I like to sit at, and I was like, I sketched it, and I was like, well, that's not half bad. So. And so I was like, well, heck, if I can do that, I surely can paint it, right? So I just started painting. I love these little chunky blocks. I think they're the cutest little things. Plus, there's an artist that's local. I don't know if she's local, but I know that her stuff is in some of the stores around here. And it's beautiful, but it's really expensive, and I can't ever afford it or choose not to. Just because, I mean, people can put a price on their art. I get it, but I personally cannot pay $40 something this small so I was like well I'll just create my own stuff and things that I like and so I painted this one and I was highly impressed with myself because I was like that is so cute so and also painted this one because this is the county that I was raised in and I don't know why I thought this was a good idea there's a lot going on in this and um but I still think it's cute so whatever as cute as the bunny so my friend was like, oh, I want one of those bunnies. Now, I had said I'm not going to take custom orders because I've done that before with signs and I burned myself out and I hated it. But I love her, so I made it. And then she texted me and said, well, uh, my family saw my little bunny painting and they wanted one too. So if you'd like to make a couple of bu bucks, make me one. And I was like, mm, I love you. So, and I love painting for now. I have ADHD, so tomorrow I may hate painting. But today, I paint. So this is where I've gotten to on, on hers, but I'm gonna start over. Um, I gotta soften him up a little bit and add his little bow and some extras, but today I'm gonna teach you how to make this little bunny painting. Okay, so I started off with this and I have no idea what I'm gonna what I'm doing. I just do stuff, okay? I don't know the technical words for terms for this stuff. Um, real artists are probably gonna come on here and freaking panic because I'm sure I'm not doing this right. I'm, this is probably Hot Mess Express, but for people who are like me, who are always looking for tutorials on little crafting ideas, I'm your girl. Because this is in no form or fashion going to be um, the proper way to do things. This is just how I do it. I use literally the most random shit sometimes to create what I can see in my mind. So, let's get started. I painted this all white and then... I sit it in front of this little fan so it'll dry fast because I'm impatient. I don't have time for all that jazz. Mm -mm. So, painted this white because I think I read one time that you should paint your canvases white uh, before you start painting because it makes the paint go on better. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I do. And also, I only allow it like five minutes to dry because I ain't got time for that. So, let's get started. Oh, I don't know the technical words for these brushes. I have no idea if I'm even supposed to use this brush with little crafting acrylic paint, but nonetheless, here we go. So, we're going to turn it on the painting and not on me. Um, this is my first time doing like a YouTube video. Oh, and if you came here from like TikTok, hey Trailer Parkers, this is Ashley and this is the crap that I do on a daily basis. So, this one is by Apple Barrel and it's called Cloudless. And I need more of it because I've painted several of these little bunnies. Ooh, and there was a clump, and we're just going to work with it. Look, I just scrape it off. Oh, that was a hot mess. And we worry about it later. You know, we wipe our fingers on this. Um, this paper is the stuff that Hobby Lobby um, wraps your, like, ceramics in. So, yeah, we, um, we repurpose over here. Okay, I hope this stupid phone does not... I'm using my old phone, so I just kind of go over this. This part's probably going to be super boring, um, but I'm always looking for, like, tutorials on how to, like, do little things, because 
I'm creative, but I have a hard time like coming up with my own stuff. This is my own stuff, but like I like to follow tutorials, but everybody's so like technical and they know like all the terms and they've been to like art school and I don't know. And I don't have all that stuff. All I have is like all this crafting stuff. And so I'm like, you know what? To hell with it. I'll just do it by myself. So I will like pause sometimes and let it dry for a minute and then I'll come back because I know y'all don't want to sit there and watch it dry. I mean, that's literally watching paint dry, but I just get a good coat of this and I have to do this like two or three times because I don't like to be able to see through it and see like, you know, in the clump, I just push it over to the side, you know, there is no sense in wasting this paint. Um, so this is what I do and I'm very impatient. So I try to get as much done as I can in the maximum amount of time because I don't have time to like, I'm not one of those artists that's like, oh, let's sit here. No, we got to go. We got time for this. Slow stuff gets on my nerves. So that's why I like acrylic paint. It dries really fast. It's, I mean, you can do whatever you want to with it. I have it in front of this little fan that I bought for my daughter because I have a little fan in my bed. I mean, on beside my bed. And she likes to nap in my room because she's like, oh, I love your little fan. So I bought her this little fan. And it's really not that powerful, so she didn't like it. So I was like, you know what? Say less, fam, because um, I am going to use that for my paintings. These little paintings, it's perfect. I can sit them in front of it, and literally, like, within five minutes, they dry. Or I don't know if they're dry, but they're enough where I can move on because I don't got time for all that. I'll, I'll put the inspiration right here so y'all can see what we're working toward. This video is probably going to be a hot mess, but I was painting this morning and the thoughts that I was having was like, I was like, this is freaking epic. I should freaking record this. And then I was like, oh my God, I should record this. I'm always looking for like tutorials and stuff and it's all like boring and people are like, I don't know, they're so professional and good for them, you know, good for you. I'm going to sit it right there while I find my, and look, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to stick it in my water. I'm going to move on to Apple Barrel Kelly Green now. This little thing is like disgusting, but I just make sure there's like no debris in it. And I'll eventually wash it one day, but not today. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit because it don't need much. Also, this one is Folk Art Butter Pecan. Really don't ask me what I was thinking. Um, I was thinking grass, hay, sky. Okay, so I don't know if that's even a thing. I don't even know if that's... Do they have hay by grass? I'm not sure, but um, I like this color. And so when I decided to paint the little bunny, we'll call him Paul, because it's close to Peter. Um, call, Paul the bunny, I was like, I really like that brown color. So I painted it there and then I was like, oh, I don't, well now I need grass because he needs something to put his little butt on. Oh shoot, and then, so I went with that. So here we go. Yeah, this is not dry at all, but whatever. We're gonna now paint the butter pecan. And so, and it's not going on like super. So I'll just add some more, cause you know, we don't have time for all that. We don't have time for 26 times of uh, letting it dry. And literally, if it's your little artwork, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're like, look what I painted, it's so cute. And it doesn't have to be on this little canvas. You can do it on I mean, you can do it on freaking paper. You can not even do this at all. You can literally just watch me talk because that's what I'm going to do. I just wrap it around. I don't know if this is what other artists do, but I can't leave the sides blank. That's weird to me. So this is what I'm doing. And, you know, originally I thought this would be like a dirt road, but then I was like, I don't know where the hell it's going. And I don't know if that's right. So... I made it like hay or something. Burnt grass. Hell, I don't know. Hell if I know. But he's cute. So we're going to sit him down in front of the fan for a minute. Let the brown dry. Stick this back in. I like that brush, so I'll just be using that brush on everything. Okay, so I realized that I didn't paint the brown down enough. So we're going to paint it down a little bit more because the grass isn't that. Um, and like, am I going to get in trouble because I find like inspiration pics? 
uh, like this little bunny was a cookie I saw on somebody, you know, makes those. I like to watch people make cookies. And I was like, that is the cutest little bunny ever. And he was white. And so I was going to make mine white. But as I was painting him, I'm like, eh, kind of like the gray. And so painted him gray. I like the gray better. I feel like it shows up a little bit better. And I feel like bunnies are realistically probably gray. Okay, we're going to. But if it pulls down at the bottom, just kind of wipe over it. Some of y'all are probably not even doing this, but this is like redneck ASMR. <clears throat> y'all can watch me paint. Okay, this is the part where you kind of kind of have to be able to draw, but not um like extensively. Crap. Okay, so I just look at him, and I look um. And look, it doesn't matter what this looks like as you're going to paint over it. Make his little nose a little bit pointier. Okay, see, that's a little wide, I think. It needs to be a little taller. Taller. And... I may speed this part up. You can see he's a little rounder right here. And I'll be erasing on it. I don't even know if he's supposed to do that, but. Sometimes the, the bumpy things on the canvas will make them weird. So I try to go here. Remember that one was like humpback. So we're going to try. We're, we're trying not to do the humpback again. And then I, when he gets right here, I make him have a little belly. And then his little foot's going to sit. So I do this. On the grass. and then I do this. None of them are the same, so he's like my perfect boy, but not everybody can be like Paul, you know? So, it's okay. And then I just take this about right here where it starts coming down. The ears are kind of weird for me because sometimes I feel like they turn out good and then sometimes I feel like they don't. Like, why do you have to be so perfect? Because it's hard to replicate that one. He's so cute. He's like the golden child, you know? Everybody wants to be like him. Be like Paul. Okay. And that's pretty much the sketch of it. Nothing major. Look, I literally... I did this on a piece of paper just to see if I could do it. And I was just like this. And it looked... He looked like E.T. and stuff, but it's fine. So that's going to be your sketch. And then, you know, my handy dandy brush. You can literally use any brush, but this is my favorite brush, obviously. Um, and then I went in, first I did him white because I wanted him to be white, but then I decided I didn't like the white. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try that again because that might be why he's so perfect. Because all the other ones I started with gray since I ended up going gray, but really I probably should just start with white. And I literally just paint inside the lines. This is just like what you were taught in uh, kindergarten. Just paint inside the lines. That's it. In between each coat, I dry them. And look, if y'all are like, oh my God, I didn't, I can't do that. That's okay. 
You don't have to create stuff. You can just watch me create stuff. And watch me sometimes fail miserably because sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm doing. And sometimes my ideas do not work because I'm not an artist. I literally just started doing these little canvases. Well, actually, I did them at Christmas. I made... So, if you bought me a gift, I painted you this little church. It was it was pretty cute. I can post pictures of it if y'all want to see the pictures of the church. Uh, I found it online. And I just painted these little canvases and gave them to everybody. Because, well, I made my sister a little camper because she has a camper. And I love campers, okay? I'm obsessed with campers. And it was probably because we were raising a trailer park. So, it's a little piece of home, you know. Um, but I made everybody else these like little churches and then, um, I made like five or six of them. They were gray with little white churches with a little pink door. It was so cute. So anyways, I done those for Christmas and, um, then I tried to paint. Oh, I did some other little things. I forgot. I forgot I got, I've got multiple ones of those. I forgot I did some at Christmas. I just found some stuff on Pinterest and I was like, oh, I'm going to recreate that. So, um, so I did. Some of them turned out cute. Some of them not so much. And if they don't turn out cute, you know what I do? Paint over them because I ain't trying to waste no canvases. These little, these little canvases are kind of expensive. I get them at Hobby Lobby and it's like, uh, I think you get eight. I guess they're eight for like $9. It's not super, it's not expensive. I just, you know, you can get them for cheaper. But they don't have the chunky ones. And I like the chunky ones. And don't worry about it if you're out. And we're moving on to this little rabbit. I think we're going to go back with some more white. And just make him a little bit, see my grays mixed with it. But that's okay. I'm going over the line. See, I feel like this way you get like all the colors and it doesn't look like generic. Like you just used a gray, you know what I mean? Because that's what I think makes the, the paintings cuter is that there's like a mixture of colors. And it's not just like, oh, you used gray paint and that was it. I feel like it gives it like personality, makes it look real. Because anybody could just use gray paint, you know? I get just a tiny little bit of black. That might be much, but we're going to go always. I always do my dark back here because I like him darker at the back anyways. So that way I can look at a bunch of white and then I can just do this and try to smooth him out. And then I drag the white a little bit further, closer to the belly. Because, you know, perfect little Paul over here. He's a little darker in the back and white up front. And then I'll go back later. But we need a little bit more white up front. Just a tiny bit because he's got a little white belly. See, he's cute. He's doing good. Look, I'm literally holding my paintbrush like a pencil, so... Clearly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just be doing stuff. Point and give a little flick. We ain't got that yet. Sorry if this video is like forever. Okay. So we need to do his little head because this part gets like, that was way too much black. It gets stressful because I wanted it. Okay, originally on Paul there. I wanted him to have like a white eye, but I didn't want it to be like just a circle. So I redone it like 26 times and I think it turned out really good, but um, it's hard to recreate that. For some reason, I cannot get that. I cannot get the other ones to look like that. Okay, this is a little dark. But I like them darker on the back of the head and then lighter in the front. Don't ask me why, but I do. So, see, we just like gradually make him a little lighter 
and then get a little bit lighter. See, we just blend, 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 blend. And then I like a little white, like on his nose. I want his nose to be white. I haven't done that part yet, but look at him. Oh, he's still, oh, he's doing good. Okay, we just need a little bit more white because I feel like the, the line is still very, 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 very prominent. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a little bit darker and we're going to go around this. See, this tutorial is going to take way less time. I probably just need to cut that other part out of me doing the other ones. I don't want it to be outlined, but kind of outlined. Does that make sense? Okay. I get to be a little darker on the... Not necessarily outlined, but kind of outlined. But a little bit more blended. Like, we don't need to see that. Let's do the ears. This is scary because you never know when you put it down if it's going to be like super duper dark. Well, I don't because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no professional. But it's art, right? So what's beautiful to me may not be beautiful to you and vice versa. I should, have just, I should have left those little white lines there so you could see the, um, so it would be like a, um, kind of like a highlight. When you do black and white together, you literally cannot tell, well, I can't, like, I'm like, oh God, is this going to be like super dark gray or is this about to end up? white or is it gonna be black i'm just kind of going trying to get in this little line so you can't see my pencil lines acrylic paint is really forgiving so you don't have to oh, i didn't realize my face was in the Okay, darken up this little. So we can tell he has two ears and not one. But we have to soften that because um, that's much. We soften it with white. I don't want it to be too stark. He's not a gangster bunny. He is a little Easter bunny. And I hate when I create one that that's like perfect and then I can never recreate. No, nobody will ever be Paul. And that's just sad. I named him Paul. I so, keep it in my hands there. I forget that I'm like filming. I don't really know anything about highlighting or shadowing other than like wherever your light source is you know you want to put the yeah I don't really know where my light source is on this one I'm, I'm gonna say it's right there so I don't really know where the highlights or shadows are supposed to be but I just do stuff and if it's cute I'm like oh that turned out <laughs> by the grace of God so we're gonna be done with that See, from there, it's so cute, but then if you get up close, it's like, ugh, that's not cute. But that's what painting is about, you know? It's like a Monet. And I know that from the movie Clueless. So when I get excess, I just, like, rub it on here. And... Okay, I'm going to try to get his eye white. 
without it being like, see, this is doing good. This is doing good. What I do is I overdo it and I keep working and then I mess it up. And that's how, that's how I always end up messing the dang idea up. Just a little white. Dang it. And we're going to keep on because I need it just a little bit wider. All right. And you can still see my line where I drew it. So I'm just going to go over it with the, with the um, white. And, well, we're going to do white because remember I said I like him wider towards the belly. See, and that's cute because it's getting like little streaky stuff and it's looking like realistic. I'm going to blend it just a little bit. I hope you can see it. Oh, crap. See, that's what happens when you have paint on your brush. It'll show up. Because it was on the back of the brush. It's fine. It's fine. looking good he's plumper though like his little butt's plumper than this one so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix a little bit of black with some white and we're gonna just go over So I plumped up his butt a little bit because he was looking flat back there. And that's okay because now all we have to do is just, uh, he's still a little like, I feel like I went like flat there instead of rounded. He's more rounded because he's perfect. Nobody will ever beat him. But I'm going to try to make him a little bit more rounder. And all I'm going to do is just kind of go outside of the line. See? Look at there. He's getting plump. No more flat back for him. See? Now he's plumper. Mm -hmm. That's three pieces. Then you need to take it down to probably two, but yeah, fine, eat it. Probably gonna be stopped up for months. There we go. Just shadowing around so you can see, you know. Unlike me, he has a neck. And then I'm just kind of outlining. You can still kind of see that he's uh, the pencil marks. So I'm just going in trying to meet it. Cover it up because we don't want the pencil marks to show. And that's a little dark, so we're going to bring that back. Oh, you know what I did not do first? The clouds. I normally do the clouds first, but it's okay. This is my one, two, three, four, five, five, fifth time painting this, this little bunny, so. Mm -hmm. He's a cutie. Dipping it in my water. While he's like drying and stuff, we're gonna move on to the clouds. I'm gonna use the same brush because you know I like this brush. Dip it in my clean water, make sure. Doesn't really matter because look, this brush is perfect for clouds. You literally just 
Can you hear the Bob Ross? I mean, like, I know he's smiling down on me right now with my happy little clouds. Super easy. Just, I'll just be making clouds. Sometimes I like these to be a little 3D-ish, you know. Or not 3D-ish, but like textured. I just add a bunch because even though, you know, you want it to be a sunny day, I think a lot of clouds is cute. No rhyme or reason, just putting a bunch of clouds. I don't do the ones in the back quite as white. I don't know if that's right or not, but it looks right. <laughs> I'm sure there's like an expert. Like, yeah, the ones in the back are supposed to be a little bit more faint color, but I think that's right because because it looks right there. Like, those are a little fainter than those. I think that's right. Wish I knew the like, you know. I'll just do some little faint ones back there. Nothing major. And I do the top because I don't like I don't like the empty sides. Some people don't even do the sides or the top. I don't like that. To me, um, the whole thing needs to be done. Well, if I walk by it, I want to be able to see what's on the top, or you know what I mean, see what what's going on. Doing some clouds. Um, Y'all, I have no idea. Like, I actually didn't even know I could, like, sketch. <clears throat> and that's on ADHD. I just love to, like, craft and stuff because I've never, well, I could probably afford some of this stuff now, but I choose not to because if I like it, I'm like, mm, probably can create that. Um, and I just like to do stuff, so I'm like, if I like something, I'm going to just try to create it. I mean, you know, why buy it for $17 when you can create it with $92 worth of crafting supplies, you know? But this is like therapy for me. I love the... Okay, I think that's enough clouds. We don't need no more clouds. We're going to let him dry for a minute. Okay, we're going to soften him up just a little bit more because he's a little too harsh. We need him to be a little bit more Easter Bunny and less gangster -y, you know? We need him to be like he's in your dreams and not in your nightmares. I have teenage kids and they don't respect my art. Um, we're just softening him up so he's not a gangster bunny. He is a Easter bunny. I don't want your children to be scared of him, you know? Oh, also, the more I look at them, the more I think they're ugly. And then I have, you know, I mess them up because I don't want to do too much. I mean, a tiny little bit of black because we are getting a little too white. We need to blend, 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 blend. Okay. Really, I just need to be done with him because I think he's okay. I'm just, you know, overthinking it because that's what I do. But when you're doing art, it's really easy to overthink it. Well, let me say this. For me, because I don't, I'm, I don't have no expertise and I have no training other than some YouTube videos and some craftsy 
which I didn't even watch much of that because I got bored. I think we're going to be done with that. Highlight a little bit more of this here. We want it to be a little bit lighter. I just don't want the line. I want it to like blend, 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 blend. Ain't that what like uh, makeup artists do? You gotta blend, 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 blend. And when you're doing your makeup and you're like, I don't want anybody to know I have skin. That's what we're going for here. No skin. <clears throat> this is like a um, painting tutorial from the trail set. On this little nose area to be a little bit lighter. And a little bit right here. Remember, we've already done this like six times and I keep on going back over it because I'm like, ah, it's too dark. Gotta lighten him up. But you know, this is Paul. Paul's perfect. No one's ever gonna be him. And I gotta, you know, I've just gotta accept that. Like, I've gotta accept that. Not everybody, nobody's ever going to be Paul. He was the first. He's the GOAT. Greatest of all time. And I've got, I've got, I've got to accept that. So I do want this to be a little bit lighter. We're going to stipple. Let's stipple. See if that makes it look. I feel like that's better. I feel like his little eye, his little white eye is cuter. Okay. Okay, we're going to let this part dry. Let's calm down right here. A little getting a little rough drying area. Okay, how I created his eye was I took the slip pencil, I just made the lead, stuck it out, stuck it in my black paint right here. Okay, some of it's dry, so I gotta make sure. I swirl it around and I do one dot like here to make sure because you don't want it to be like a funky uh, shape. And that's a funky shape because there's like some dried on there. So you get it good and wet. And then I dot. Nope. Still not good. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this open. This is wet. Stick it in there. And then I'm just going to dot it right here to see if it's like a good dot. That's a good dot. Ta -da! And then I did three little dots which is not working. That's great. Cool. Love that for us. And then we're going to let that dry. This is so old that like I can't even get it out. <laughs> but I love this pink. It's folk art. Um, baby pink. And um, that's what I make his little nose with. Ew. It's not doing good, but we're going to try shaking it up. Cause I don't need much. I just, I literally have a little dot of pink, but I'm making me a name tag for work <laughs> with the same pink. So it's a better consistency. Here's my little, my little dude. Dip my pencil. There's his little nose. I have two more over here that I'm doing. I haven't done their noses. Oh, he's a little humpback, and that's okay. We're all special in God's eyes. He's got a little, his little, his little outline's a little stark there, but, you know, it's art, so that's what we're going to say. We're going to say, we're not done yet with the old... What can his name be? I don't know. Is he the one I named Gray? Who knows? Okay, putting that down because we don't need that for a minute. It's pretty cute. I got a, um, why did I sit this down? I need to put that in the water, Lord. Put it right in front. So he's a little flat backed and he's small. But 
we're all precious, so we're just gonna leave him. That's going to a friend. Okay. We gotta do his little skull, uh, his little ribbon. They've got some gold, some white, mixing it together. I think this is the. Mix it, and then I just mix it together right here. Oh, I don't even know if y'all can see that. I didn't realize I didn't have that in my thing. We're gonna cut this off so it's not dry my pants. Right here. Gotta mix this one's make nice. Yeah, I've had some of these paints like a forever. We're just gonna swipe it. The small stuff is so hard for me because, you know, I'll be shaking and stuff. Uh, well, ain't he cute? He's turning out cute. And then I just do these two little tails. Oop, that one got a little, a little wide. That's great. Don't overthink this. Put it in front of the fan. I won't make y'all sit through that. Okay. I'm gonna do another little coat of the ribbon. I could probably get better at that. This is not my this is not the cutest thing I've ever done. But you can tell what it is, you know. His ears need to be <clears throat> blended a little bit better. Let's clean that brush. Clean that brush. <laughs> oh gosh, professional artists are gonna be on here like probably clutching their pearls. Like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Oh, my gray is dry. Let's get some more. This is called Granite Gray. If this works out and like people actually watch this, I will like, I, I don't know what people say like, oh, I'll add the, I don't know links, but I can show y'all what I, oh shoot, I about to you. Um, I can tell y'all what I'm using if you really want to know. I mean, right now this is like a two hour video, so I'm going to have to cut it down. I think I think you're, I'm just gonna have to be done with that. Like it's not it's not nothing else is gonna happen to this. There's no other way to make this. See, and now I've made it too. It's not even okay. That looks better. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, all right. See, it's now it's too gray. And that's what I do, ladies and gentlemen, is I, okay, let's wipe that off and let's smooth this. I don't want this completely white or gray, but I want it, oh Lord, bless him, bless his heart. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll stipple and that'll give it more of a blended instead of a line. Maybe we'll just be done with that, and, you know? It'll be what it is. I need just a little bit of dark down here because I forgot about his little foot. Oh yeah, don't forget to sign your art. <laughs> well, if you're gonna give it to someone, even if you're not gonna give it to someone, you know what I say to people? Even if my stuff is not good, at least my kids have something left of me that I made, so.